wait, you're not focused. One moment. We're rolling. Hi everyone. So we are back in London. We're reunited and we're doing a dog friendly day out in London. So Ava is here. She's sat at our feet currently. The first stop we're having. We're not having the red pepper quiche. So we just had a mishap there. They've run out of quiche. <laughs> it's not going very well to be honest. It was a long wait. For the food. For the food. But it is good. It's outdoors. So it's dog friendly outdoors. But we're just going to keep going to places where you can bring dogs. Yes. What a day for it. Yeah. So right now we're on the South Bank and all of the places here have an outdoor seating area so if you do have a dog this is a great place to come also downstairs would you call it downstairs yeah downstairs there's a row of more more restaurants that sometimes have outside seating yes, yes. Ava. Should I bring her some water? Oh yeah, that'd be good. Thank you. Ava's just been eating her lunch. Right, I've got myself a English breakfast tea. Shocker. Oat milk. <laughs> Shocking. Shocking. No one expected that. No one saw that coming. <laughs> and Joel, what did you get? I got an oat flat white. I don't normally get milky coffee, but I thought I would. Lovely. Yeah. We're looking forward to the food now. Yeah, same. Starving. 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 <laughs> this, by the way, is the Royal Festival Hall. I don't know what goes on there. I've never seen a show there, but I think it's music, theatre, dance, event yeah. in general. Yeah, sometimes like some live events like talks. Oh, yeah. Talks go on there. Yeah. I think they've done TED Talks there even. Oh wow. Yeah, there's Fantastic. always some stuff going on. And always if you need the loo, yes. you're in central London. Free loos. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that is the place to go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> This looks great. We've both gone for tartines. Oh yeah, so tartine is a... I think it's like an open sandwich or something, like a bit of bread with a topping on it. So I've gone for chicken and bacon. And I've gone for salmon, salmon California. Wow. Lovely. Very nice. Okay, let's dig in. Let's go. Okay. This is absolutely conic. Tell us why. So this is the skate park yeah. of uh, the South Bank and they wanted to get rid of it and then they did a petition and everybody, even like, randoms who have never been here voted to keep it yeah um, because it's just like the skaters are always here so if it was gone it'd have been a sad thing to yeah lose, so. it would because i know it yeah. looks like ugly to some people but i think it's like cultural it's like it's really edgy, it's and, cultural. Really edgy and cultural yeah. there's a lovely book market second hand books ava doesn't read so chicken that's a bit of me. That is a bit of I you. I think our viewers might like this. This is the Prime Minister's country house, oh, which lovely. I only learned about about a month ago. I didn't realise the Prime Minister had a country house called Chequers, and it's where every Prime Minister gets given 10 Downing Street and Chequers. Is it in, oh, is it's it in, in like, Street. Surrey? Yeah, it's this. Wow. Am I just being stupid? or just, I did like, not know I they get like, Chequers, no. no. Had no idea, any pics? No, just lots of history. Lots of history. Wow, love that. We're having a little stroll now along the South yeah. Bank and it just had a flashback of when you and I were talking about something really inappropriate. Uh, yeah. And a girl came up just went, Jules! Yeah, we were like, hey! It was so funny. We literally were talking about something that just could not be heard by anyone else. And we were like, of course it had to happen then. Uh, of, course. of course. Also, do you remember when we uh, had a Hagen Dazs event just down here? Yeah. In summer a few years ago. Yeah, I remember that. Good times. Yeah. Yeah, I always get memories when I walk on the South Bank. I feel like pre-COVID, there'd be so much happening here. I mean, I guess it is starting to be more buzzing again, but yeah, I just feel like it all comes flooding back. So you'll notice if you have a dog in London, you suddenly become like a celebrity. Everyone smiles at your dog and then they smile at you and some of them will stop you and talk to you. They'll stroke your dog. Some people will like pay the dog attention, but then not talk to me. <laughs> so yes. they'll just be like, hello, hello. And then I'll smile at them. They'll be like, <laughs> yeah, because they don't want to talk to a human being. But yeah, basically she's very popular love that i just caught some londoners looking at the dog <laughs> so when people talk about london you don't really associate it with beaches however there is a beach and it's a very secret beach <laughs> <laughs> ava wants to go to the beach in london i mean how many beaches do you know where you get a view of like all of that not many not many <laughs> london or dubai just having a little look here at some donuts they look very nice this is like the most trendy chocolate in the uk at the moment when tony's chocolate came out it was exclusive to Sainsbury's only but now they're still exclusive to Sainsbury's but I think you can also get them like in other places but other supermarkets I don't think they've mm. if they have them Sainsbury's would be unhappy about them. yeah they would be annoyed yeah. it's bougie it is it's really thick chocolate like mm -hmm. you break into it and you're like yeah 
so nice. In a good way. <laughs> Have you tried the salted like pretzel. The pretzel? I think I've tried that, but I haven't tried these. Like I haven't tried the pink one. Oh, Milk no. caramel biscuit. No. Wow. Come across the founder's arms. We're gonna sit down, have a drink. We're exhausted. We've walked for five minutes. We need another break. I know, we really do. All right, Ava, are you ready? Come on, Aves. Come on. And we like it here because you don't have to talk to humans. You can just order through the app. So we're not welcome because you can't have dogs in here. So we're gonna go outside. So don't bring them to the founder's arms. <laughs> right, pub option number two. And the dog. So here we are at this cute little place. I think it's called the Icebreaker. Is that is that what it's called? And Joel's got us a little table up here with Ava. Yeah, like by the river's fine. Yeah, that's it. I mean it's a wonky table, but I'll get over it. Or middle so that no one comes. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> okay guys, I think I said that this place is called Icebreaker when in fact I think it's just called the Anchor. Yeah. And I think it's been sponsored by Icebreaker, which is a type of ale. Yeah, that's why all of these, um, what do you call it, parasols say yeah. Icebreaker on them. Mm -hmm. In my head, I was like, oh, we're at the Icebreaker. <laughs> I know. That would be... It's, uh, nice. it's not even busy here. No, not at all. And it's a nice sunny day, so yeah. I think we're getting quite lucky. Joel's saying as well earlier, with the lack of international tourism at the moment, mm. it, London really is a lot quieter than usual. And yeah. It's, Quite nice. It is quite nice. Quite nice. So if you live in the UK, now's the time. Get out there before the tourists come back. Yeah, it's quite nice. it is. You don't have to queue for anything. It's really good. Cheers. What have we got? Rosé, a sweet one. Sweet one. Lovely. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it stunning? Yeah, it's a bucket as well. Yeah, it is. There. Massive. Bucket of rosé. Yeah. So now we're off to Tower Bridge. Apparently they've got a dog friendly area where you can go up to the top. They've got a glass floor so you can look down. So if you've got vertigo, don't go, but it's dog friendly. And then we're thinking of getting an Uber boat all the way home to Waterloo. Yes. Drop Ava off and then go out for the night. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> is going absolutely mental because she really wants to see a show on at the globe. Oh, I think that that means A up. A up. A up. A up. Yeah. Which is slang for, you are right, A up. Yeah, how are you in Yorkshire? A up. A up. Have you seen the lovely view? Look, it's Tower Bridge. Oh, wait for the camera to just do its thing. Hang on, guys. It's uh, very overexposed, but you might be able to see a little bit of Tower Bridge there. Have you ever seen this before, Ava? She's literally so unbothered. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the most unbothered she's been for the whole walk. Yeah. 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 Okay, Ava, we're at the next location. Where are we? She's like, I have no idea. <laughs> we're at Lon uh, Tower Bridge, and this is the thing. People call it London Bridge. This is not London Bridge. London Bridge is over there. It's not very pretty. This is Tower Bridge. Even Londoners get it wrong like me. I nearly said London Bridge. Yes. It's not Tower Bridge. Yes. So as you can see, there's a photo shoot going on here today, guys. People always come here for pics. Come on then, let's go up. Hi. Oh, oh God, I've got all my overnight bag. I know. Lovely dog ticket free there. <laughs> and they do special days, don't they, Joel? So they do VI pooch days where they get biscuits and goodie bags and things like that. So fun. <laughs> so it's worth checking out the website. Let's just begin. Right. Many Ava's steps. Come on. Yeah, this will be a walk in the park for Ava. Yeah. I mean, I'd be scared to let her go. Oh, so. here she goes. <laughs> Work to lift, lift the bags. It's actually not too bad. No, they're not that steep steps, are they? No. They're not like Oxford Castle. Are you talking about a theme park? Me too. Where are we going? Now she's chilled out. <laughs> yeah, there's benches up here for a little stop. Yeah, let's sit up here. And this is like a halfway point, I think. I don't know. Little break in a film here. Lovely. Are you enjoying it, Ava? <laughs> Good girl. We made it! Yay! We didn't realise we were actually at the top. <laughs> yeah. yeah, where we stopped to watch the film was actually the place. Someone just said we were too loud. I overheard it. Classic. Classic. Classic us. Too loud, John. Too loud. Yeah, too loud. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to get a photo lying down on the grass? I think so. Are you so. Scared? Do you have photos? I don't. I'd like to see if I'm scared of the height of heights. I don't. I don't think I am. But okay. Maybe I. Maybe I do have that. Right. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna fall through. Like, you can't help but stand on here and go, but what if it broke? What now? if we fall? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Isn't that. This is mad. It's scary. This is so are you not meant to stand on it? No, you are. Are you? Surely you are. Oh, there's a mirror. Oh my god. <laughs> You're brave, Ava. Hey, Joel, we've taken our photo. Now we're gonna head down. We're gonna head down and then maybe get a boat. Home. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm just on Uber. You can get an Uber boat. Which is quite a fun experience. I've yeah. seen a few people do it. Yeah. Okay, we're walking down the pier. Never on Uber. 
afraid of before. It's very loud, I'm afraid. This is the future, I, Uber it's boat. boat. It's a boat, but they've just Uber. They call it Uber. Yeah. All right. In oh, we go. Actually, yeah. This is nice. Yeah. Okay, guys, we are very impressed with the boat. They've got a bar over there with crisps and drinks. No, I think it's the whole point of it is supposed to be like an affordable alternative to taking an Uber car. So I don't think this is that expensive. And plus, like you said, no traffic. No traffic. No traffic out here. Guys. And aircon. Oh. <laughs> right, guys, we are going to end today's vlog here. It's yeah. been so fun doing a dog friendly day out in London. There's probably plenty more that we could do, so if you do know of any dog friendly things, let us know in the comments below and we'll do it. Ava's had a blast. I'm so sorry that it's just got loud as we decided to do the outro. But yeah, do let us know if you enjoyed this in the comments and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, see you soon. Bye!